Did you know that in medieval two Total war for the Teutonic campaign, part of the kingdom's expansion, there is a formable nation. A nation that you can just create out of another. Very in a Europa Universalist 4 style of way. And I didn't know this until recently, and I've had a look, it works and everything, so this is going to be a very quick tutorial guide. Now for the Steam version, this definitely works, but on disc, I think it's a, there's a little bit, it's a little bit bugged on some disc versions, so you might need an updated patch. That's just from what I've heard. Historically, the Kalmar Union was a personal union formed between Denmark and Norway. And Norway had Iceland and Greenland at the time as well, so Denmark grew by quite a bit as a result of this union. Okay, now let's go into how to get it. So, in order for the player to form this, you've got to take over uh, most of the Scandinavian settlements. The settlements of Kalmar, Göteborg, Visby, Uppsala and Abo. Hopefully I pronounced those right. Once you take all of these settlements here, you'll get an event pop-up which will be something like the last Norwegian king. What you've got to do is then you've got to kill one, the Norwegian king, either in battle or through assassination. If Norway gets eliminated, then it's not possible to form this union, so you've got to keep Norway alive. That's why in this example let's play that I'm showing you, I did it as early as possible. And that's kind of it. Take those five settlements, you get the event, uh, well the mission I guess, to kill the Norwegian king, and if you kill him, you inherit Norway. Now what do you actually get in the campaign? Well, first of all, you get all of Norway's land, you get all of their generals and all of their soldiers, which is quite good. That's, there's quite a lot there, so that's what you get. Your flag also changes as well, uh, you go from Denmark's to the Kalmar Union, which is the yellow with the red cross. Your name also changes and you gain access to three new units. Those units are the Svenner, which are just a very basic cavalry unit, not too much uh, special there. The Sami Axeman, which I think is a two-handed Axeman unit, looks kind of interesting. And finally the Gotland Footman, which is a like a big swordsman unit. And yeah, so you get access to these three units, which I think are uh, quite interesting. So yeah, that's basically everything. Like, there's not much to it, but I wanted to do a video on this because it's actually really interesting, I think, that all the way back then, they had a formable nation, and it's one of my favourite parts of Europe Universalist for just having a nation and then changing its name and its flag into something bit bigger, turning England into Great Britain. And I never knew it was in total one. It's kind of hidden. Um, because generally speaking, when you play Denmark, you'll kill the Norwegians before you take... Uh, the Swedish settlements, or at least that's how I play. Do I recommend this in a campaign? Not really, because I'd actually advise that you just kill the Norwegians off, rather than focusing your campaign on taking specific settlements, because to take those settlements as early as I did, you've kind of got to give up on other fronts, like your, your territory in Russia, for example. I... So yeah, I wouldn't actually advise it. I'd probably knock out Norway early on, take some of the rebel settlements, then knock out Norway, then take the rest of the rebel settlements. But it's really up to you. In a normal let's play, by the time you actually get those settlements without losing land to take from, it's usually going to be about 20 to 30 turns. By that point, you've probably already killed Norway. So, it's not that valuable, but I just found it interesting that it's here. Thought I'd make a video on it, so yeah. Very simple, take five settlements, kill the king, and you get all their stuff. Hope you've enjoyed. Do you want to see more types of small guides like this? Because there's lots of interesting scripts in Total War like this. Um, maybe one about how to... Um, about Lithuania and it becoming pagan. Uh, there's some interesting stuff there. How exactly to defeat the Huns in Attila Total War. Like the exact requirements of it. So yeah, just small stuff like that I think could be interesting. If people want to see it, of course. Hope you've enjoyed, please subscribe for more or share with someone who you think might be interested, and goodbye. The people of Norway have united with their Danish neighbours under one banner and ruler to form what is being called the Kalmar Union. Nowadays, to raise a fist at one is to raise a fist to all in the Union.
But before I go, I want to just quickly say, uh, the YouTuber you're taught to one master, he's got quite a few spaces open in his hot seats. That's what his channel is about. It's about lots of hot seat stuff, uh, which is Total War campaigns for Medieval 2 mostly, and sometimes around Total War, uh, but multiplayer campaigns. So if you are interested in hot seats, his Discord is linked down below. This is the type of plays he's looking for. By retrofit, that just means normal Medieval 2 Total War. Um, but you need the retrofit mod for it to actually work in hot seats. Medieval 2 Total War, you know, the vanilla campaign, very simple. Um, if you are interested in hot seats, then uh, join his Discord. And I'm sure he's still looking for players at this point, so... Yeah, it's fair if you are interested. Goodbye.